I, I was reading recently, someone's, I don't know who wrote the article, but they were listing the top songs ever coming out of Flight Time and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Number one, optimistic. I don't know if you've seen it. I but did. Yeah, that that is quite an honor. And, and you know, definitely, I, I agree. Such, such a great, powerful intro with uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry. Yes. Um, they have stuck by you. You work with them on the recent uh, duo project. What was the initial contact? I mean, you've known them for years, but you know, to join up with their label at the time and produce you. Well, you know, and, and you you always uh, do your homework uh, to the nines, brother Joe. You're absolutely right. Uh, the the relationship uh, between uh, well, even just myself uh, and and Jam and Lewis and families goes back to our parents. Um, so this is going to take a second to put into perspective what brought uh, the Heinz family, my family, to Minneapolis from my beloved hometown, Yonkers, New York, right. uh, was um, my mother, uh, the late great Doris Heinz, who we lost uh, eight years ago today, as a matter of fact. Wow. So um, much love to your heavenly to uh, your mom. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Brother Joe. I appreciate she Believe me, she hears and accepts that. Yeah. Um, but Minneapolis and St. Paul were big jazz towns. A lot of that surprises a lot of people. Uh, Ellington Basie, uh, Sarah Ella, who were contemporaries and friends who mom performed with, uh, and we would always excite, get excited, of course, when they would call the house and all that. Mom, Miss Sarah's on the line. Uh, so that's what brought. She was booked here in the Twin Cities, brother Joe, for what was supposed to be two weeks. It turned into she got held over for a year. And so she fell in love with the Twin Cities uh, and moved us here um, uh, from uh, Yonkers uh, to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Then uh, we, we remind people all the time, and I know you know this, um, Prince, Jam, and Lewis did not just appear the, out of a vacuum. Right. The, the thing that, that, that brought mom here and then ultimately brought us here was that while there was a very small black community, it was very thriving and culturally and musically active. Uh, there were R&B groups here that would have rivaled any Motown group. There were blues artists here, jazz, gospel, and again, that's that's what brought us here. And so uh, Prince's uh, uh, parents uh, mm -hmm. were, were professional musicians, Jam and Lewis, and, and contemporaries of my mom. And so our family, our parents knew one another. So uh, our relationship predates uh, both Prince's and Jam and Lewis's international fame as artists and producers. Uh, and when they achieved that fame, they did not forget about us. And they brought us on. And we were blessed to be the first artist signed to a prospective records, which, uh, and I was talking to a former A&M employee just the other day uh, out in L.A. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, Gary, when Jam and Lewis uh, and A&M and uh, Polygram was, were the parent label and distributors and at the time, the, the biggest in the world uh, uh, of prospective records, Jam and Lewis's label. And Jimmy and Terry were working with the biggest artists in the world. I mean, Human League, George Michael, uh, Janet, uh, Michael Jackson. And surely the expectation of Polygram and A&M was that Jam and Lewis would lure some of those artists to their label. Right. And lo and behold, who's the first group they signed? Sounds of who? What? <laughs> and, and how many of them are there? And how many different types of music are they singing? And how are we going to market them? And all these questions, you know. Uh, so they were they were not happy, you know, if the truth be told, until Optimistic went number one. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. And then the rest is history.